other yellow hat guy here, back with another video. I almost fumbled up that word. But speaking of people who fumbled, this is gonna be a tough one to make because I know this is a very polarizing figure, right? Now, it hasn't happened yet, but I figured, personally I feel like this guy is a fool. And you may not, and that's fine. And while I, for the longest, didn't like to get political on my YouTube channel, this really isn't going to be a political video. If you choose to make it that way, that's fine. But my intention is not to do that. I'm just talking about the man, the person, on their own merit. Who am I talking about? Well, obviously the picture and the thumbnail should tell you. It's Donald Trump. So, uh... 45th president of the United States and one of the things that was interesting about Trump was he didn't have the background you know lawyer or, or anything like that he wasn't in the system like the average politician was so that's what appealed to some people there are other reasons right I won't get into those but that's the one reason I could see being interesting to people to at least listen. Now, a lot of times you have these celebrities or entertainers, because let's just be frank, he was an entertainer, right? This guy is in the WWE Hall of Fame. He was on The Apprentice, you know, TV shows, Trump Towers. He, he was a reality star long before that was even really a thing, right? He set that up first and then eventually, you know, started doing reality TV. He was in these Miss America pageants. I think he owned one of these. Don't quote me. It was either Miss America or Miss Universe. One of those. One of those Miss somethings. He was involved in that. So married a couple of different times. Maybe three times. I don't know. But uh, we all have our faults. And we all have done stuff that if people were to examine myself included, we'd be like, oh, well, let's do a sympathy for other yellow hat guy. You know, that'll be the day. Right? Uh, and it is what it is. But in this situation with him, seven years later, after some of these allegations came out, right, he linked up with a adult film actress, right? That's as clean as I can present it on YouTube. I know I have people who are churchgoers and young kids who also watch my channel, but I have older people and people who don't know me who look at these videos too, right? So. Uh, all I'm going to say is that's, that's, that's what it is. This is what he is in trouble for. Not for anything else that we think he should have been in trouble for. Or maybe you don't think he should be in trouble for this. But the facts are he is, has been indicted for his involvement in this, right? So what does that even mean? So think of it like this. You are driving a car. You're speeding, right? You get pulled by a cop because the cop has told you you're speeding. You're not guilty of speeding, even though you may know that you were speeding or the cop used their gun to say that you were speeding, their little scan gun, speed gun. But you have your day in court that you're due, and it has to be to where you're innocent till you're proven guilty. I know a lot of times people will say, hey, in this country or in other countries, it feels like you're guilty until you're proven innocent. But no, the law says you're innocent until proven guilty. So he's due his day in court. When you have rich, powerful figures, it often feels like they are above the law. And so you have a lot of people, a lot of left-wing media especially, rejoicing on Donald Trump's downfall. And I'm going to be honest, I think it's a, it's a little sick that we do that as a people. But I'm not saying that I'm also not looking at this like, well, at least they did something, right? Because... A collective of us would feel like nothing was ever it was never gonna be anything I mean he said some of the most crazy bizarre things live on TV and he still won the presidency that was that's uncanny so on one hand it's like wow that's awesome people who just looked at him for what he was and said we still want him above anything else but on their hand it's like you just lowered the bar so far. Here we have this one guy who, love him or hate him, raised the bar at number 44. And I guess the bar was so high that some people perceived it as low. And so they let him get in. But I digress. This person whom he was with 
received like on over a hundred thousand dollars, hundred thirty thousand or something like that, to be quiet, a non-disclosure agreement, right? So, uh, him being indicted is based off of, hey, we want to have you come in to charge you, and then eventually convict you because we feel like this money we found out one of your lawyer friends who was no longer your friend. <laughs> volunteered the information to reduce their own legal woes and said, hey, I gave this check to this woman as hush money, but he committed fraud because he used that money for her and said it was a business expense and filed it on his taxes, which you and I, all our, us American citizens, American citizens pay for. So you say, big whoop, he's not going to go to jail. Why would they indict him on that? That just seems politically charged. It's just extreme left wing going against the right wing, yada, yada, yada. And while that, that, that tonality cannot be denied, it would be crazy for a legal system, a judicial system to say, that's enough to go after him. Now for me or you, yes. And that's why people are excited. For the common man, all they need is that, and they're gonna come get you, right? We don't have secret, secret service people or anything like that. They're just gonna come get us. And for people like him, whether he was president or not, you kind of look at it like, well, he's never going to see a day in court because he's just going to find a way to pay people off and just be done with it. But that does not seem to be the case. No, sir. Alan Bragg and some of these other guys, they were like, no, we got not just one count on him, 30 counts, 30, I know I threw up a five, but 30 counts. That's what they've got. So uh, I feel like they feel there's enough smoke that there's an actual fire. So we'll see what happens. He's he he. I don't feel sympathy for him because I felt like he brought a lot of this on himself. Self-inflicted wounds from the people he uh, affiliated himself with. You know, when you're real famous and powerful, especially in the president position, you you feel like your cabinet is like the Justice League, right? Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, etc., etc. You're supposed to have that. He tried to have something like that, but they were all the same guy. Everyone was trying to be Superman and didn't have the same, didn't have a diverse skill set or background. And so it didn't really work out for him, in my opinion. Uh, but I will leave you with this. He came out and said, oh, on his personal social media, they're gonna come get me, or, or they're gonna indict me on Tuesday. And while that didn't happen, because there was fear that him speaking to his base, some of them would, you know, act irrationally like they did on January 6th, 2021, right? Or maybe it wasn't 2021. I think it was 2020. Excuse me. Yeah, January 6th, 2020. Uh, the election was stolen, blah, 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 blah. They went to the White House Capitol, did all kinds of crazy stuff, and it was like, whoa. I thought you said the left were extremists. What are you guys doing? Well, that's right. You guys are also extremists. That's, that's what it is. Because somebody somewhere is going to be like, that's not all of us, right? And that's fair. That's fine. I don't really care. The point is, there's charges that may come from that, too, right? Maybe he took the, uh, you know, documents that were supposed to be left at the White House. Maybe he took those and said, hey, I won't reveal this information or I'll give these back if you don't come after me. And, you know, here, this, this is me speculating, right? But maybe that was something that he had planned. He's been doing a lot of things to kind of deflect from this situation, like running for president again, selling these ridiculous NFT Things, you know, him looking like super... I feel bad for a lot of you guys who voted for him, have the flags, have the decals, and you look at other people and say that they're thugs and they're crooks, and you, you endorsed one. Uh, let me know your thoughts. He brought a lot of this on himself, so I don't feel sorry for him. I'm interested to see how it plays out. I'm also interested to see what Jimmy Kimmel... Um, not just him, but all of those late night talk show guys talk about after this over. Maybe they talk about it from here on out because it's it's easy fodder for them, right? And you feel slight some. I feel a little bit of sympathy for him because 
they keep picking on him. It's like picking on somebody who can't help themselves, but he's doing it to himself. He's constantly saying things to keep himself in the conscience of people, but few of these things are making him look good. A lot of them are making him look bad, in my opinion. I think a lot of you, whether you believe in him or not, you could say there's some things that he's done that he, he's hurting himself by uh, saying, and he could just be quiet. So, um, do I think he'll do a day in court? Obviously, he's doing that. They're indicting him. A lot of speculation was that wasn't gonna happen, hence this video. Will he do jail time, though? They're saying he's looking at two to four years for the initial thing, right? But this is just New York State. There's charges he can get from all these other situations that he's got going on, too. And this is just the beginning. So, uh, let me know your thoughts. Like I said, I'm interested in hearing that. Don't don't feel like this is a celebration for him. It's, it's clearly not a pity party, but it's a reminder for all of us that even, even the former president, the first one to be indicted, is not above the law, and that sometimes uh, you make things worse on yourself, right? Chris Rock recently said, we're still talking about the slap, right? He said, this is the greatest moment in the history of television, no, not anymore. It's going to be when your boy Donnie is in handcuffs and everybody sees that and it's like, whoa, they actually did it. For better or for worse, they actually did it. Other yellow hat guys out. Captain Sensation!